Chapter 7 Fractions Fractional Terms When a whole is divided into smaller parts, the smaller parts are called fractions. The resultant numbers are called fractional numbers. Numerator and denominator of a fraction A fraction is written as two numbers separated by a horizontal line. The top number of a fraction is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. For example, in the fraction 5 upon 11, 5 is the numerator, parts to be considered and 11 is the denominator, total number of parts. Fractions on the number line. Fractions can also be represented by points on a number line like natural numbers. Suppose you are asked to mark 1 upon 2 on a number line. For this, first draw a number line and mark points to represent the whole numbers 0 and 1. Now, divide the unit into halves. Mark the point of division. It divides the segment of unit length into two equal parts. So, we can name this point as half, 1 upon 2. In order to represent 1 upon 3 and 2 upon 3 on the number line, divide the unit segment into three equal parts. The points of division are marked as 1 upon 3 and 2 upon 3. Each part is equal to 1 upon 3. Example 1. Represent 4 upon 5 on the number line. Solution. Draw a line. Mark the points O and A for the whole numbers 0 and 1 respectively. Since the denominator is 5, the total number of equal parts are 5. So, divide the unit segment into 5 equal parts. The numerator 4 shows that 4 parts are to be taken. Each division is equal to 1 upon 5. Starting from the point O, the fourth point of division, say P, shows the required point. Example 2. What fraction is represented by point P on the given number line? Solution. Clearly, A, B has been divided into 10 equal parts. Point P shows that Five parts are taken. Hence, the fraction that names the point P is equal to 5 upon 10. Types of fractions. Like and unlike fractions. Fractions with the same denominator are called like fractions. Examples. 1 upon 4, 2 upon 4, 3 upon 4. Here, 1 upon 4, 2 upon 4 and 3 upon 4 are like fractions as their denominators are the same. Some more examples of like fractions are 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. Examples 3 upon 8, 1 upon 3, 5 upon 12. Here. 3 upon 8, 1 upon 3 and 5 upon 12 are unlike fractions. Some more examples of unlike fractions are 1 upon 3, 1 upon 4 and 2 upon 5. Unit fractions. Fractions which have 1 as the numerator are known as unit fractions. Examples 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3 1 upon 4. Here, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3 and 1 upon 4 are unit fraction as the numerator is 1 in each case. Some more examples of unit fractions are 1 upon 3, 1 upon 6, 1 upon 8, 1 upon 9. Comparison of like fractions. To compare like fractions, the numerators need to be observed. The fraction with the greater numerator is the greater fraction. For example, in the fractions 
1 upon 6, 2 upon 6, 3 upon 6, 4 upon 6 and 5 upon 6. We can say 5 upon 6 greater than 4 upon 6 greater than 3 upon 6 greater than 2 upon 6 greater than 1 upon 6 as 5 greater than 4, 4 greater than 3, 3 greater than 2, 2 greater than 1. Similarly, in the fractions, 11 upon 65, 37 upon 65, 28 upon 65, 64 upon 65 and 9 upon 65, we can say 64 upon 65 greater than 37 upon 65 greater than 28 upon 65 greater than 11 upon 65 greater than 9 upon 65 as 64 greater than 37 greater than 28 greater than 11 greater than 9. Proper and improper fractions. A proper fraction is one in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. For example, 2 upon 3, 5 upon 7, 9 upon 10, 13 upon 15, 11 upon 13 are all proper fractions as their numerator are less than their denominators. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator is called improper fraction. For example, 3 upon 2, 6 upon 5, 11 upon 7, 13 upon 9, 15 upon 13 are all improper fractions as their numerators are greater than their denominators. Mixed fractions. A mixed fraction is one in which there is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. All improper fractions can be expressed as mixed fractions. For example, 8 and 1 upon 4 is an example of a mixed fraction. This fraction comprises a whole number 8 and a proper fraction 1 upon 4. Some other examples of mixed fractions are 2 and 1 upon 3, 5 and 2 upon 3, 7 and 1 upon 2, 9 and 1 upon 9, 15 and 3 upon 5. Conversion of improper fractions into mixed fractions. An improper fraction can be converted into a mixed fraction by dividing the numerator with the denominator. The quotient becomes the whole number and the remainder and the divisor constitute the proper fraction. For example, to convert 19 upon 4 into mixed fraction, we do 19 divided by 4 is equal to 4, quotient, and 3 remainder. Thus, 19 upon 4, improper fraction, is written as 4 and 3 upon 4, mixed fraction. Conversion of mixed fractions into improper fractions. A mixed fraction can be converted into an improper fraction by multiplying the whole number and the denominator and then adding the product with the numerator. This result becomes the numerator of the improper fraction with the denominator remaining the same. For example, to convert the mixed fraction 11 and 2 upon 3, we do 11 into 3 plus 2 upon 3 is equal to 35 upon 3. Equivalent fractions. An equivalent fraction is obtained by either multiplying or dividing the numerator and denominator by a common number, except 0 and 1. Two or more fractions that represent the same part of a whole are called equivalent fractions. Thus, 1 upon 2 into 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 4 upon 8 into 2 is equal to 8 upon 16 into 2 is equal to 16 upon 32. Similarly, 27 upon 81 divided by 3 is equal to 
9 upon 27 divided by 3 is equal to 3 upon 9 divided by 3 is equal to 1 upon 3. Finding equivalent fractions with given numerator or denominator. Observe the following examples. Example 3. Find an equivalent fraction of 2 upon 8 with numerator 12. Solution. To get an equivalent fraction with numerator 12, you need to multiply the numerator by 6. 2 into 6 equals 12. The numerator and denominator will both have to be multiplied by the same number. So, the denominator will also be multiplied by 6, resulting in 48. 8 into 6 equals 48. The equivalent fraction of 2 upon 8 with numerator 12 is 12 upon 48. Example 4. Find an equivalent fraction of 12 upon 18 with denominator 6. Solution. To get an equivalent fraction with denominator 6, you need to divide the denominator by 3 as 18 divided by 3 equals 6. The numerator also has to be divided by 3. So it results is 4. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. The equivalent fraction of 12 upon 18 with denominator 6 is 4 upon 6. To check whether two fractions are equivalent or not. To check if they are equivalent or not, multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. And then multiply the denominator of the first fraction with the numerator of the second fraction. If the products are same in both the cases, then the fractions are equivalent. Let us consider two fractions, 4 upon 8 and 12 upon 24. Here, 4 into 24 is equal to 96, and 12 into 8 is equal to 96. Since both the products are same, therefore, 4 upon 8 and 12 upon 24 are Equivalent fractions. Addition and subtraction of like fractions. Sum of like fractions equals sum of numerators upon common denominator. Example 5. Add A. 3 upon 8 plus 2 upon 8. B. 3 and 1 upon 4 plus 5 and 1 upon 4. Solution. A. 3 upon 8 plus 2 upon 8 equals 3 plus 2 upon 8 is equal to 5 upon 8. B. 3 plus 1 upon 4 plus 5 plus 1 upon 4 is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 upon 4 is equal to 8 plus 2 upon 4 is equal to 8 and 2 upon 4. Difference of like fraction Difference of numerators upon common denominator. Example 6. Subtract A. 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10 B. 9 upon 15 minus 4 upon 15 Solution A. 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10 equals 7 minus 3 upon 10 is equal to 4 upon 10. B. 9 upon 15 minus 4 upon 15 is equal to 9 minus 4 upon 15 is equal to 5 upon 15.